Hey guys, uh, just a PS to my story time video from yesterday. I never finished the story. I did have a comment asking how I got the parts I needed for the TIE Fighter. So, to finish the story, um, I belong to a couple of boards, a couple of groups on Facebook. And so I kind of posted, took a picture of the TIE Fighter just said, um, don't have any of the parts, not sure if anybody might have some laying around, maybe they were doing a custom job, or somebody maybe wanted to buy the TIE Fighter, um, like dirt cheap, uh, I figured, you know, whatever, like 10 bucks or something for it, because I only paid like 17 but uh, I got contacted by a guy who lives about an hour away from me saying yeah actually I do a lot of custom stuff and I actually have all three pieces still bagged up from he's got had a few of the TIE fighters so he said you know what I will be going through your area in a couple of days on my way to wherever so if you want I'll bring him down with me and we can meet up and we did and he gave me the parts and just said, you know what? Collectors help collectors and didn't charge me and gave me the three pieces I was missing. So um, it just shows, man, like community love is awesome for those that are trying to help other people out and asking nothing in return. So um, I think that's just fantastic. And so, yeah, so that finished up the story. And then this will lead into... The next uh the next video so um there you go guys just in case you're like papa gord what the hell so there's the end so is it possible to make too many of any one particular figure regardless how popular or iconic they are i mean really if you look at like uh luke skywalker He's only got so many looks, and we're almost to the point where I think we've almost got every single look of Luke Skywalker. We have him in his Black Jedi outfit. We have him in his Bespin outfit. We're getting him in his Dagobah fatigues. Uh, sounds like they're going to do one for the medal ceremony. Um, we've got Farm Boy Luke. We've got Stormtrooper Luke. We've got Stormtrooper Luke version 2. We have... Uh, old man Luke, um, again, possible rumors of that force projection of him looking younger, um, when he battles Kylo Ren and when he force projects himself. So there's another Luke. Um, I'm just trying to look as I'm rambling off all these Lukes, but, uh, anyway, so is it too much? Is it too much? So, and that's what we're going to talk about in a second. Hey guys, Papa Gord here, and uh, looking a little dapper this evening. So my wife's birthday is uh, next uh, week, Monday, the 27th. So um, got rid of the kids for the evening. Just got back from having some dinner, and we're gonna go out to a comedy club. So I figured might as well get tomorrow's video recorded now before uh, we get home really late, and then I'm too tired, and then I forget because I want to try to keep knocking them out because it looks like for sure I'm going to Cincinnati next weekend so I don't know how maybe we'll have to do some quick record straight to YouTube so they won't be as fancy without the music and the intros and stuff like that um, hopefully there's a few things I know there's um, I think a couple of targets and a couple of Walgreens that are gonna be around the area maybe you might find a Ross who knows so this will be kind of exciting so hopefully even if I just do, um, you know, record a bunch of stuff and then bang out a couple of videos or something like that. But, um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. So that's why I'm looking a little, a little fresh black, nice and slimming. But yeah, so, um, so anyway, so multiples. We're not looking at Luke Skywalker anyway. He just happened to be an example because I think most people have ever have heard of Luke Skywalker. But, um... 
We got the junk in the trunk trunk. And I didn't put stuff in here because there's not enough room for as many as I have. So, side eye. Um, so yeah, so not that long ago we looked at this absolute hunk of garbage. Um, actually, I'm gonna pull off her staff so we can do a comparison. So, uh, if you haven't guessed, we're gonna be looking at some rays, multiple rays. The only ray I'm not gonna have down here is the one on her speeder bike. I do really like that one. I would have said, honestly, they could have gone without doing this and just given us the figure that they did and maybe just given us an extra head. Um, because you don't see her eyes, right? And she's got that tunic thing going on and whatever, but trash, absolute trash, just, yeah, not great. So this is the one that came with the original, right? So not overly fantastic looking. This one's the update. So already, Basically, I mean, it's shows you it's it's virtually identical. The only difference is the strap goes that way, and then the strap is down that way. And for the updated figures, all the other ones have it looking that way, not the old way. But um, honestly, there's not much. It's not as dark. It looks more of a deep gray rather than a black like this, but you know, they've cleaned up this nightmare of a band, like the, the over the, the, the head and arm strap. Um, it's still fairly stiff. It's not nearly as bad as this one, but it's, it's definitely gotten better. So we got crappy Ray. We got that Ray. We have that Ray. And then we have deluxe version of that ray. And uh, honestly, I uh, not sure how I really feel. I don't think honestly, I don't think any of them look that much like Daisy Ridley. Um, even with the deluxe figure. So maybe we'll. Uh, get rid of the garbage one so we'll look at the deluxe one so I can even see the colors in the lightsaber blades as well like this one's the deluxe this one was the regular carded she's got the soft goods um, she came with the um, with that little base um, with the metal pistol. Like, I think, I, and then they both have the cuts on the arms. So I like the weather ring on the deluxe one a little bit better. I do like the soft goods on her better than like this, like this. Cause again, right, that just makes it seem like virtually you know it's got that big gappy floppy thing or whatever so I would say out of the two I like the deeper blue lightsaber on this one opposed to this one I mean the the hilts are you know they're exactly the same um, but definitely a lot more soft goods on this figure but other than that I mean that's pretty well it so this one yeah appearance wise does look a little closer to her than this one so uh, we'll put her down and we'll pull up her other one I like the look of this one as well but it's the same thing here like her not really that great um, hopefully episode 9 Ray looks a whole lot better uh, but they're not horrible they're definitely an improvement over that piece of garbage that they gave us 
So I'll take um, take this one apart. And actually, let's see. I think all these are slightly different shades of blue. Yeah, yeah, they're not all even the same blue. So uh, her articulation is basically, well, besides the garbage one, because the articulation is virtually non-existent, but between her and the the, the two that are the same, uh, pretty much the same, um, she only gets 90 degrees. She can really bury her head down into her chest really nicely. Uh, she is able to look up to some degree. Does actually have a pretty decent crunch in behind here. Almost, almost can kick her own backside. It's just the, kind of the, the flares from her uh, capris that she's rocking. And again, same thing. She's got her little, her little pistol. I, I like the look of this, so um, I don't think they can really mess that up too much. Fits into the holster really nice. Uh, it's the same thing. The holster band's painted and uh, layered on there. And... Uh, Kind of make it out that it's all just kind of painted like it's sculpted in it's not just a, an extra loose piece and then that's glued to her hip so she does get a little bit of turning range but not a whole lot you can see it starts to put a little bit of stress on on the holster but i mean other than that it's such, such an improvement. And this one's the, no, that's the update. Let's look at the regular face compared. See, so even that's like a lot different as well. So, yeah, so too many rays, like, I get do it this way. I, I get this figure. First figure. I get it. It's garbage. I will do a comparison if I can find version 2, hopefully on Monday at the Toy Show. Um, and I will do a comparison to see how much better or if it's the, pretty much the exact same. But you get a lightsaber. Um, so we'll, we'll see. So that one. So this is a definite, definite step up. I would say the same with this one, uh, where the faces still don't really resemble her at all, but um, I guess that one's the closest that we're gonna that we're gonna get right now. But uh, you know, again, it's interesting just to see the amount of you know dry brushing and the wash that they've put on and really kind of darkened up their her arm wraps. Um, yeah, I mean the detail's good. I got my foot on this one's pretty loose. I tend to have to lean her. But I mean really is is this one worth Yeah, this one. You know, the extra cash. Um, mind you, I got this on clearance at Toys R Us because it was a Toys R Us exclusive and I got it on clearance for I think $16. So to get the base and all this and her staff and then you get the, the the metal accessory but I've just got the all, all my bases I just don't have any room so any figure like the Kylo Ren that uh, Mike sent me and or Luke old man Luke he sent me the old man Luke um, and I picked up the Kylo Ren with the uh, actual metal helmet so yeah but um, you know it's just it's kind of crazy that we don't need, do we need five, like that's five, that's five rays. And then as far as Kylo Ren's, or is there six? I think there's six rays because you get that other ray that comes with the, the one white base that goes against the Kylo Ren with the other white base and he's kind of got that snow effect. Um, so I don't have that one and I don't have that Kylo Ren either, but I think I've got one, two, I think I've got at least four. Four Kylo Rams 
on the show. So <sighs> I get it. He do he go from episode seven to episode eight to episode nine. But, you know, whatever. But anyways, guys, um, that's going to do it. So I would say out of the five I have, um, facially, this one's probably my favorite. Um, I do like the style and the, and the look of her. And then I think coming in a very close second is the Ray with her um, uh, popsicle speeder. Um that one, the regular releases, it's a good one. I'm okay, I'm pretty happy with it. This one, I, I like as well. But, uh, yeah, we all know my feelings on this. So, I would say, as a rating, I think we go silvers, for sure. And then that other one, we know it's still that big squishy turf. But, um, that's gonna do it, guys. And so like I said, the giveaway is still going on. Uh, if we can hit minimum 250, I think we at our 152, 153. So we're picking up a little bit of steam. Um, so hopefully we hit the 250 and I can do the giveaway. And if we hit 500, again, this, you know, beard will, and I will be completely nude shaven, clean shaven for everybody to see. But, um, that's going to do it. So as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch what I have to say and show off. Um, but other than that, comment, share, like, subscribe. There will be some stuff pointing in different corners here. So if you want, click on that stuff. Maybe there's a video that you haven't seen yet or if you're not subscribed. So you need to subscribe. You need to put a comment on every video uh, from the very first day that I announced the giveaway to the 31st. And that will do it. So uh, I'm gonna get ready to go out and enjoy some uh, enjoy some laughs with my uh, with my birthday girl wife. And we will see you guys tomorrow.